for the saddle component portion, I'm not going to focus on any one brand. Um, in my business, I'm an independent saddle fitter, so I do not work with one brand um, or any type, one type of foam or any type of wool. So really today, we're just gonna focus on the different types of confirmations that a saddle can come in regardless of brand. For the first part, we're going to go over each of the parts of the saddle. So you have the pommel, the cantle, which are the obvious ones. You have the twist. That part's gonna be a little bit more for the rider. Then when you flip it over, these are going to be the most important parts along the horse's back. So you have the front, which is gonna consist of the shoulder, the tree width, and then you also have your tree points in here, which are the points of the saddle that are gonna come down at the same angle as the shoulder. Um, that's one of the most important parts when looking at a saddle, and you'll be able to see visually when I stick it on. Um, that's going to help with the comfort of your horse and giving them that scapular freedom that they need. Um, the second part I like to go over is the gullet right here. The gullet should be wide. When you see a gullet that's very narrow, that is sitting on the ligaments that are going along your horse's back and it's gonna inhibit movement. It's gonna inhibit them to be able to come up through their top line and use all of their muscles. Instead of using their muscles, they're going to contract them and actually hollow out their back to protect this area. So having a very wide gullet is incredibly important. I'm going to show you guys a few other saddles so you can see the difference in gullets. Um, and depending on the anatomy of your horse, that's how you want to look at them. Not one brand is going to be good for one horse. It really depends on their anatomy. Another thing that I'd like to touch on is changing the fit of your horse all the time. When they're young, their anatomy changes. Once they're old, their anatomy, it stays relatively the same. So we want to account for weight gain, muscle gain, loss, um, but in general, the general anatomy of your horse is going to stay the same. So if you find a panel and a tree, and when I say panel, I mean the shape. So I'll show you a couple different shapes as well. Um, you wanna make sure that those are fitting with the general anatomy of your horse. Because with him, he's never really gonna get a bigger scapula. Yes, the muscle's gonna build here, but that you can actually compensate for. I'm gonna show you guys a few different panel shapes. So this panel, try to get it for a good angle there. It's very cut out around the shoulder. It's very flat behind the wither and flat here as well. It's a little bit steeper on the inside. Not sure if you can see that there, but that's gonna make the saddle sit a little bit more on top of the horse. Now this specific saddle would be great for a horse that has a little bit more of a narrow wither and spinal column. Um, next thing we're gonna look at is the girthing system. So take note on this saddle, the girthing system is fairly wide. So what that does is it pulls pressure along the horse's back evenly. You don't want it to be thin. Um, this specific saddle, it goes all the way back. They only have two billets. That's not gonna really matter um, because you want the pressure to be pulling equally from the back to the front of the saddle. Another component on some of these uh, more French saddles, you have a very flexible shoulder. So the tree point I was talking about is under here. Here is the top of the tree point. So that's the point that I'm talking about that's sitting on top of your horse's shoulder in the scapular region. Um, most brands are going to have a polyurethane rubber there, so it actually flexes with the horse's back, but under it, it's still gonna be wood or steel or carbon composite, um, whatever that brand tends to use. Another thing I'd like to point out on this saddle is the panel system. So you have the flap that your leg touches, you have the flap that touches the horse, then you have a gap here, and then you have this panel, which again is going to um, keep the saddle up off the horse's back. So the second saddle is going to be a little bit different configuration wise, so you guys can see a comparison. And at the end of this, I'm going to go into the common question of tree width and how much we should really um, rely on that for our horse's comfort. So this saddle is the same tree width, so really what we're gonna focus on is the difference in the panel shape, the tree points, and the girthing system. So if I turn this around, first thing that you're gonna notice is that there is not that gap. You have the flap, you have this flap, and then you have the panel that's attached to the flap. So this particular saddle, it's called an integrated panel, and it is creating more of a surface area 
for the weight of the saddle on your horse's back. This type of saddle is great for horses that are a little bit wider, a little bit flatter backed. Um, but as you can see, the tree width is the same on this saddle as that one, but it is a completely different shape. Um, the shoulders here are a little bit more concave. It's rounded instead of flat behind the wither. And then the back of the saddle is actually convex. So you don't want to put round on round in this case. Flat is better like the previous saddle. But in this case, you have concave on convex, which again is really going to work for the rounder, the rounder horses. Also notice that the gullet is super wide all the way through. It's a little bit more narrow up here to support behind the wither, but from the back, it's actually cut out. So leaving room for the gluteal muscles to work, the lumbar is gonna be nice and loose and all the ligaments can do their job holding the vertebrae together and there's not gonna be any tears. The tree point on a saddle panel that is integrated is going to be a little less aggressive than one that is because again, you're spreading the surface area out. So this tree point is also flexible. Um, so that's going to stay the same. The biggest difference you're gonna see for on this saddle is the girthing system. Um, the girthing system is something that a lot of people don't look at it, but it might be one of the most important components to having the correct saddle fit in regards to balance and keeping things where they need to be. Um, so the last girthing system was great, nice and wide. This one is a little bit different. It's a three point system. But what it does is it goes all the way, get a good angle here, from the back of the saddle to the front of the saddle. So that way, when you're pulling down on the girthing system, you're pulling all the way from the back and all the way from the front. And depending on the horse, if you ride a horse that where the saddle bounces a little bit, you can actually use these two back billets and you can make the pressure pull from the back and relieve pressure in the shoulder. Now again, this saddle also has a very flexible shoulder. You're not going to find many saddles these days that don't have a flexible shoulder. Um, all the brands have really stepped up in that regard with the tree points, the composites of the tree, and then in the flexible shoulder system right here. So here is the third saddle I'm going to show you guys. Again, same tree width, completely different panel configuration, which is going to change the fit on the horse. So let's turn it around. We have this panel. It's very unique in the sense that it's actually completely cut out in the shoulder. So there is no contact on the horse's shoulder in the scapular region at all. Um, now, because of that, they had to create a flatter, pan flatter panel behind the wither. And then the back is actually relatively flat as well, but towards the edges here, it's a little bit more concave. Um, so between these three saddles, you're really going to see how the tree width doesn't really affect the horse on, doesn't really affect the fit on the horse's back. Sorry, I'm getting tied on my words here. But really what you wanna focus on is the anatomy of the saddle in regards to the anatomy of your horse. When you match those up, the tree points will come next. Obviously, if you have a really wide horse, you're not gonna put a super narrow tree on it. But if you have a standard horse like Ollie, they're gonna be in a 4.5 to 4.8. And the most important part is going to be your panel system and then the girthing. So with this saddle, you have the flap on your leg, flap on the horse. It's not an integrated panel, but in this saddle's case, they freed up the shoulder, so it's gonna be just as close contact for the upper part of your leg. And again, very, very wide gullet. So I keep stressing that, but that's, along with the girthing system, very important. Now the girthing system on this is going to be set a little bit farther back. So you can see it's much more narrow, but it's angled to pull this way because this saddle's focus is relieving pressure in the shoulder. So now that we've gone over the anatomy of the horse, um, the general anatomy of the saddle, what we're going to do is we're going to look, we're gonna basically troubleshoot. We're gonna say what to look at on your saddle, on your horse, to know if maybe you need to go in a different direction. We're also gonna look at some of the general misconceptions um, about saddle fit that people have and maybe some habits that we all do that we don't know about just to be a little bit more aware of. And then out of the three saddles here, obviously none of them were custom to Aussie, but we're gonna go over which one is going to be the best. Um, and this is going to demonstrate how if you get the general anatomy of the saddle and the horse correct, the fit is going to be comfortable. Um, you don't need to have super, super 
So we went over the anatomy of the horse uh, generally. We went over the general anatomy of the saddle. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna look at each of these three different panel shapes. Um, like I said before, they're all the same tree width so that that way you guys can see um, how the panel affects the balance. Um, and then we're going to go in the common misconceptions and maybe some habits that we all do when we're putting or tacking up the horse. Um, and also some common things for you guys to look at at home so that you can um, troubleshoot your own saddle fit with your horse. If you feel like you're having any issues, you can look at these simple things and come to a pretty good conclusion. <laughs>